can say she's an ageless wonder. Her lustful life makes this lady tick. When a young man looks at Madam, she just throws herself right at him. She's young at heart and still getting her kick. And at Madam's place, she's a prime time queen. She throws her stuff on a TV screen. Her outrageous charm fills this funny box that we call Madam's place. again. Well, I had a little chicken in it, wouldn't lay an egg. So I poured hot water up and down his leg. The little chicken hollered and the little chicken begged. Little chicken laid me a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Hi, Pinky. It's going to be a marvelous day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and all's right with the world. <laughs> and this is from your favorite fans, Cindy and Mindy. Really? How sweet. You know, I miss those kids already, and they've only been gone since last night. Mm. Read the card. All right. We love you, madam. Oh, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We don't love anyone Good, as good. Much That's as... wonderful. Now, why don't you read me uh, what's in variety, okay? Certainly. Ah. Oh, this is interesting. Tony Orlando signed to play the lead in the Albert Schweitzer story. Oh, typecasting is going to ruin that man's career. I saw him in Vegas. His show was so long they should call it Tony Orlando Till Dog. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Lynn Levesque, host of Naked All-Star Bowling, has announced her first film role. What? The Lady and the Donkey? No, madam. It's a picture starring Robert Redford, Robert De Niro, Robert Young, and Roberta Duran. It's called Four Bobs and a Boob. Oh. So my arch rival, Lynn Levesque, is going to be in a major motion picture with four dreamy hunks. Thank goodness I'm mature enough to be above petty rivalry and childish jealousies. Pinky. Yes, madam. Madam wants to be in a big boofo movie. A boofo movie? Mm -hmm. Oh, madam. Crack my egg. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Okay, everybody. All right. Now remember, this stu this studio thing here is being fed to every live studio in the town. There's going to be anyone that is anyone has ever been anyone who's ever going to be anyone is going to see this test. We got to make it work. We got to show the big boys that matter could do anything. And this script has got everything. It's got comedy. It's got sex. It's got romance, peso, sex, violence, baby. Madam, are you ready? Ready, Larry? It's going to work, or you'll be collecting ten percent of your own hot air. Uh. Okay, JP, are you there? CR, can you hear me? Seymour, is that you? Now, gentlemen, don't forget, if you like what you see and you see what you like, we got a pre-commitment commitment with all the majors, a distribution deal with the mini-majors, and a t-shirt exclusive for two wackos on Hollywood Boulevard. Now, keep that in your mind, and keep your eyes on the monitor. Ready and action! I think so. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Listen, could you uh, uh, take off my wrap? Oh, of course. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, I said wrap, not rip. I'm so sorry. Oh, but I love you. I love you, too. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Madam Screen Test, take one. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, Okay, go ahead. Okay.
Okay. Okay, you bums. <laughs> this is Tarasi, the toughest woman alive. I could beat any guy with one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> wanna fight? Wanna fight? I had a tiger. I could have been a contender. I'm gonna whoop him. I'm gonna whoop him. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I am the greatest. I'm... Oh. Oh. Guys, uh, hey, listen. Uh, I, 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 I know what you're thinking and don't think it. Well, I'm thinking the very same thing and it's uh, unthinkable. So, hey, uh, what do you say? We got to deal with the deal with the deal of the deal. Uh, uh, JP, CR, Seymour. Hello, hello. Uh, oh, Madam, baby, Madam, baby. That was good. Uh, look, Madam, baby, don't worry. Oh. I know a couple. I'll set up another screen test. I know a couple of nobodies that may be somebody's. And they're very, very, very interested. They're casting a title role in The Bride of the Thing. And, well... Look, I know it's a stretch, but I promised them you could do it. Don't worry, Mr. Lunch. I know what to do. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, 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 Frankie. Oh, 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 Forget it, Lunch. What do those monkeys know about movies anyway? I'm going to write my own screenplay. Oh, madam, baby, honey, darling, sweetheart, think about what you're saying. What do you know about writing a screenplay? Oh, oh madam, you have never even written out a grocery list. Not only will I write a story so steamy it will make cat on a hot tin roof look like Ice Station Zebra, I'm going to star in it with Gordo Gordon. Now there's a knockout. Oh. The number one box office attraction in the world. Out of my way, baby, I'm the great. Hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about. How do you think you're talking about something like that? How could you talk about something like that? else in all my life, but you are the, the best looking guy you ever saw. I know. <laughs> you got a beard. Oh, my goodness. You are an earthy little thing, aren't you? You know, I loved you in urban cow chips. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be even hotter in Madam's movie. In the body heat of the night? Now, I can't believe that she banged this out in two days. It's the steamiest thing I ever read. Where'd she get the idea? Research, my dear boy. Research. Oh, man. Ow! Mm. 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 Uh, Gordo, uh, you're such a dear hunk of man flesh. Uh, shall we begin the reading? Okay, where's that big love scene? Let's see. It, it starts on uh, page one and goes until the uh, end. No problem. I got all day. Oh, uh, I have your dear Mr. Gordo, if you... Oh! <laughs> oh! Um, oh, my, that cologne. What is it called? <laughs> Sweat. Oh, oh. Um. And, well, I have a hot date with a cool shower. <laughs> oh, good, Gordo. Because we don't want to be disturbed unless one of us calls for oxygen. Oh, <laughs> Okay, Gordo, let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> I know you're a beautiful young heiress, and I'm just a lowly stable boy. But damn it, Pamela, I love you. Oh, you talk a good game, Arthur. Now put your mouth where your money is. All right, then we kiss and make passionate love on the floor. Hey, this is going to be great. Hey, who's going to play the broad? Who's going to play the... Uh, uh, why, why, I am, of course. You and me making it on the screen? I wrote this as a vehicle for both of us. Oh, uh, well, speaking of vehicles, you know, I just remembered I, I got my uh, motorcycle double parked outside, and uh, oh, as you. far as the movie goes, um, uh, you know, I'm booked for the next hundred years or so, but hey, hey, thanks for the beer. Yes, anytime. Bernie! Pinky! Stand joy! Hell with Gordo and the hell with movies and TV and agents and screen tests and heartbreaks. Madam, if that loud insulted you, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. Oh, to hell with all of it, Pinky. I'm through with show business. Oh. 
But Auntie Madam, you're a star. You work so hard, you can't just throw it away. Oh, no? Well, just watch me. Pack my bags, Pinky. I'm leaving town. Oh. Madam is officially retired. <gasps> oh, I wanted a starring part, and he turned out to be a sparring. I don't know. It's Madam's Place. Join Roland Esperanza and the Madam's Place All Divorce Orchestra as they welcome Madam's guest host, that handsome, talented, and charming man about town, me, Lance Lane. My next guest is a very funny woman. Don't wear mascara when this kid performs because she makes her run down your face like a fleeing purse snatcher. Welcome, if you will, Nancy Parker. <laughs> start out with a few impressions of famous people doing commercials for milk. The first one we have is Bernadette Peters. Hi, I'm Bernadette Peters for milk. I like milk when it's iced cold with Kahlua or vodka, or when it curdles if I forget to put it away. <laughs> I, like, I like milk when it's lukewarm with a Velveeta cheese sandwich on white bread with mayonnaise. <laughs> I like milk because it's white, like my boyfriend, Steve Martin. <laughs> he likes to drink milk with those dumb bunny ears on and an arrow through his head. He still drinks his milk through a flavor straw. What a jerk! <laughs> There's one thing we always agree on, though. That's milk. I'm drinking milk for ulcers. <laughs> Another John bombshell for milk is Goldie Hawn. <laughs> Um, yeah, hi, this is, um, Goldie Hawn. Anyway, um, I just got out of the army, you know, and my fatigues are exhausted. Yeah, I got really mad I was in the army, you know. One day, this girl came up to me and she asked me, are you in my outfit? I said, no, I have my own clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. Anyway, um, I had a great job in the army. Yeah, I was working in military intelligence as an imposter. <laughs> kinds of milk. It's powdered, condensed. That's the Reader's Digest version. <laughs> yeah, they even had evaporated milk. Only, when I went to look for it, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it evaporated. <laughs> I like milk so much, when I get older, I'll probably be put out to pasteurize. <laughs> as, long, as long as I'm not too old to put out. <laughs> Okay, now, Julia, I'll just get out of your way while you whip up something for us. Thank you very much, Lance. For my meat. Well, good evening. I'm glad Madam was kind enough to ask me over here to do this tonight. I'm sure that we all want to know what to do with a piece of meat. Uh, tonight I'm going to do something. Uh, it's called, um... Now, a rope and do mouton. In France, we call that sometimes, uh... Fruitier de la Mer of El Rancho, something like that. Well, let's get back to it. What do I kind of tenderize your meat? I, uh, I'll get my meat at the grocery store. You might want to grow your own at home. <laughs> this is a carrot. We want to have carrots. We're going to use a lot of things in this. You want to get it all. You're going to need about four cups of milk. And, uh, I'll just... I don't have much time. And you want to stir this really good. I want... They don't have a, a, a camera up there, so I'll just come out here and show you how this is done. You just want to get this and uh, stir it up like that. Isn't that pretty? interrupt when it's time for a word from Mr. Sponsor. Ah! How dare you disturb preparation of a gourmet feast, you slick materialist. Oh. Hey, don't come down on me, you big ugly... We'll be right back. <laughs> I have come on. Wait, come on, you guys. Kids, kids. Now, we've got a show to do. Now, if we mess this up, R. Ray Randall has a reservation for us and has been heaven. Now, Lance, I want you to come with uh, me, okay? Okay. okay. Julia, uh, you're back. Uh, and lay off the uh, booze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, as I was saying, 
Before the rude commercial, you must also have a cutting board. Here's, here's the cutting board here. <laughs> a sharp knife. That's good enough. And, of course, all the spices that you're going to need for this dish. And here's one. And a good bottle of sherry, which makes the time just seem to fly by. I see the producer wants me to pause for yet another commercial, even though we just finished one. <laughs> and uh, of course I will. <clears throat> and of course I will because I don't want to be difficult. I'll be right back. Miss Chives, with all due respect, you are taking a long, long time to get to your fascinating, wonderful recipe. Can't we speed things up a little? Mr. Wolf. I cannot rush food. If I could, I own the Zippy Burger chain. Well, why don't you introduce your next guest? I'm certain that you're going to just shine in the presence of other great chefs. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, you're up. Well, we're back. Let's see how that's doing. Oh, the queasy art's done. <laughs> one of these in your kitchen, I suggest you go out and buy one. They're a little expensive and your husband may get mad, but what the hell? Husbands don't last forever, but a pleasing art, you'll have something the rest of your life. <sighs> and now I'd like to bring out my next guest. She's a very good friend of mine. Has her own cooking show here in California. Would you please welcome with me, Miss... Rolf, Rolf. Sarah Rolf. Sarah, how are you, guys? Oh, hello, darling. Oh, my goodness. You know, why don't you care? You're getting a little tipsy there, man. Well, I like to, you know. Smells, mm-mm, smells good. And here, what you got cooking in the pot, You like that? Well, I've watched your show. You know, you cook with an accent, too. Oh, yeah. It's yours is an amala. This is, uh, Navarone du Mouton. Navarone du Mouton. What? Du Mouton. Du Mouton. Oh, I don't eat anything I can't spell. This is very good. You should try it. <laughs> needs more garlic. Needs more garlic, honey. More this garlic. Oh, needs more garlic. garlic. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> You're right. It's delicious. <laughs> now, no one will ever know I drink if I eat that. <laughs> That's all the time we have, folks. Let's hear it for them. Julia Chives and Sarah Rawls. Wonderful ladies, just wonderful. And you know why I love these gals? Because they understand that a woman's place is in the kitchen. You know, chicks today, they just don't realize that the world would be a better place if more women stood over a hot stove. Because, you know, the best chefs in the world are men. <laughs> well, I'm sick and tired of these star trips. If I had any integrity, I'd retire myself. Well, in that case, you'll be here for a long run. <laughs> I swear, Madam returns safe and sound. I'll never dangle a dubious deal in front of her protruding... <clears throat> her bosses again. <laughs> I'll get that. Don't worry, everybody. Relax. Auntie Madam just has to work out her problems in her own way. You know, it, it's just like this famous quote I once heard. Leave her alone and she'll come home, wagging her tail behind her. <laughs> well, dear, on that profound note, I think we should all go to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. We gave it the airport. Uh, Pinkerton, who was that? Oh, just someone from one of those Eastern religious cults. Oh, my God. How dare you? Who the hell did you think I was, Rima the Bird Girl? <laughs> you dang near wrecked my tambourine. Madam, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I just did a little soul searching with the six-year-old perfect master of the universe, Guru Rama Lama Ding Dong. Oh, I don't believe it. That cult practices underwater meditation and eats nothing but fleas and seahorses. Yes, it was purifying. 
Tonight's show, on the other hand, was pupifying. <laughs> it's a good thing Rama Lama keeps the TV around to watch Scooby-Doo. <laughs> and I was able to see how much you needed me. Okay, fabulous, terrific. What timing? Perfect. Couldn't be better. Madam, I just got off the phone with the producer of Four Bobs and a Boob. And guess what? Are you ready for this? They fired Lynn LeBeck for spitting on the set. <laughs> I always set that bald head class. <laughs> They want you to fill in for him. What do you say, madam? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, well, 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 Hey, listen, everybody gather around. I learned this great chant. You just got to do it with me. Everybody sit around the coffee table. Don't be afraid. Come on. We're learning something new. Experience. Yeah. All right, everyone repeat after me. Rama Lama Ding Dong. Rama Lama Ding Dong. Rama Lama Ding Dong. Rama Lama Ding Dong. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like Oh. <laughs> rama lama ding dong, rama lama ding dong, ding dong, <laughs> rama lama ding dong. Hello, madam's place. Oh, madam. How's it going with four bobs and a boo? <laughs> really? Oh, I better get down there as quickly as possible. What happened, Pinky? Did Auntie Madam have an accident or something? Crisis on the set, Sarah Joy. Her part called for a love scene with the alligator man from the freak show. I better get down there before she skins him alive. Who, the alligator man? No, her agent. <laughs>